Gearbox, what are you doing? I just played the third DLC in this half-baked season pass that cost $30, which is honestly a scam in and of itself because you get really nothing of value out of it for $30, but that's a whole different point. I just don't understand why we're getting another dungeon DLC after we've clearly gotten enough dungeons in the game. The end game is dungeons. The first two DLCs were dungeons. I don't. And the fan base hasn't enjoyed the dungeons, but yet you just think we want to keep playing dungeons. I don't know where you get that idea from, but clearly people don't enjoy the dungeons. You can look at the reviews. The game. DLCs have one stars. The season pass has one star. The the fan base doesn't like it, but yet we just keep getting it. And I don't understand what Gearbox is thinking when they keep giving us the same thing. I don't know if there's like big YouTuber yes men in their ears that are like telling them this is the greatest thing they've ever made, but it's not good. It is honestly getting worse and worse by the DLC. They're not improving; they're getting worse. I genuinely dislike this more than the Shark DLC, which was. Not even that good, but I mean at least it was somewhat entertaining and I think that's only because it was the first time we got dungeon DLCs I didn't assume that every DLC was going to be Dungeons, but I guess that's what we're gonna keep doing And uh, let me run you through the list of the fun stuff you get to do first you get to do this minecart run, Which doesn't really have anything fun going on you're following a minecart which in itself that's already boring. Who wants to follow a slow minecart? And also, look at this. Do you see how boring this is? Can you, can you imagine playing a first-person shooter and you are standing still behind a minecart as a bridge drops as slow as can be? I mean, it's stupid. It's like that. I think you have like four bridges, and it's just boring. I don't understand why they would do that. <laughs> like, I don't know. If they play tested it and they thought it was fun, then maybe I don't know what fun is, but that just was boring. Um, next on the list is the standing still game of standing still on a pressure plate while it sends fire up and burns chains, which you do three times. And it's not fun because the whole time you're doing it, they have all the enemies in the game that drop fire on the ground just burning you. So, if you're standing on the pressure plate, you're going to have fire on your feet killing you, um, which is really annoying because nobody wants to deal with that when you're forced to stand still, but then even when they're not attacking you, it's even more boring because then you're just standing still on a plate doing nothing. And that's your whole lot for dungeon number two. Dungeon number three is somehow even easier. You have to turn on these three switches, which take about 30 seconds to find all three of them, and then you hit a button, and that's it. That's that's the third dungeon. That's the riveting gameplay that you've spent $30 to get. Then dungeon number four is shooting rocks, and it doesn't even spawn enemies out of the rocks. The enemies are already there for you to fight them. Um, but you can just run past them and just keep shooting the rocks, but in really fun news, because I don't like Borderlands, or I don't, not that I don't like Borderlands, I mean, I don't like Tiny Tina's Wonderlands difficulty, because Chaos Mode, the higher you go in Chaos Tears, the game itself becomes difficult to a point where it's not fun difficult, it's annoying difficult, because everything just seems to want to one-shot you, and you'll just be exploding and dying for whatever reason, and I had the displeasure of dying and finding out that when you die, you have to go through the entire DLC again. Don't tell me it's like the first DLC. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first DLC, and, which means that I have to go through the entire thing again because I died. And I am just so not about to do that. Do you understand how painful it is to run through these things again? They are just so boring. And for some reason, when you die, they want to reset the whole DLC when it could be so much easier just to set you back and have you go through the portal again and just retry the dungeon that you failed. Because that seems really harsh to send you all the way back, 
when at least in the chaos chamber you get three lives and you could buy more you don't you get one life here and the rewards are severely less good than what you would get from the chaos chamber which then again gives you another reason to just avoid this dlc because there's no point you don't get anything but once you suffer through all of the boringness you get to an actually kind of cool boss fight it's not like it's boring but it does this it just does what it does too many times and let me explain it so you fight him in this arena you got four souls you have to these like four soul cells they're called you got to shoot them out and they're basically these rocks you shoot them once you do that Theodore jumps down on you and he has four immunity phases Every time you get him down a quarter of his health bar, he goes immune, sends you off to this platforming area, and you got these little bullet dudes running down at you, and you gotta dodge these uh, orbs, which is actually kind of, like, cool when you do it the first time, but you, you do it four times, and on, like, the second or th we're on the third time, really, it just kind of is annoying. You have to, because you just have to do it too many times. They overdo it. Two immunity phases would have been just fine at half health. But for some reason, they thought a quarter of health every time. Why would they think that's a good idea? I don't know. They're the same people that gave us three dungeon DLCs in a row when we said, please, no more dungeon DLCs after the shark one. But it's whatever. Unfortunately, I die and don't even get to see what the rewards are. But honestly, they probably weren't worth my time anyway, and I would have gotten trash anyway because the only way you get the good loot is to be max chaos tier and i can't be bothered to go through the chaos chamber 130 times getting killed every step of the way it's just not worth my time so that brings me to my point of what is gearbox doing why are they giving us dungeon dlcs over and over again when they clearly hear from the fan base that we don't want this we keep telling them that we want story DLCs, that we want something actually sustaining for content. This isn't sustainable content. This is something that you do once or twice, and then you don't do it again. And they think that once a week upping the difficulty, that might bring some players back, but for like an hour a week, you'll bring back some players to do the next difficulty if for whatever reason you found the dungeon fun, but if you found the dungeon fun, you're probably still playing it anyway. So it just doesn't make any sense to me why Gearbox would do this. It's just so dumb. And they're the same company that have made, like, this is based off of Assault on Dragon Keep, which is an incredible DLC from Borderlands 2. And almost every Borderlands game has good, has at least one DLC that, like, is good. Even if they don't have the best, they'd be like, you know what? It's good. This game has had three DLCs that are all misses because they just take what the end game is, which people don't want to keep playing the end game. If they wanted to keep playing the end game, they wouldn't be playing DLCs. They'd be playing Chaos Chamber. But they think that we want to keep playing dungeons. Like, we want to keep playing what's already in the end game. And when you beat these DLCs, they get added to the Chaos Chamber. So it once again just reinforces the idea that we don't need to play these DLCs more than once. You just play them and then you can go to Chaos Chamber and there's more content there and you get better rewards. And it's way more forgiving than this DLC is. <sighs> Gearbox, you gotta get your shit together, man. Because this just ain't it.